to go? Hmm, I'm pretty sure it's around here, but are they really training this deep into the mountains? What's the point of coming all the way out here? Tell me about it. I don't know what they're thinking, ditching school for three days. You worthless scum! Quit dragging your feet! Uh, Honestly, take a look at yourselves! You guys are nothing but maggots! You're ticks! You are the lowest form of life in the universe! Listen up, you dung beetles! I take extreme pleasure in watching your faces as you suffer! Don't you think it's disgraceful, panting like old people? If you've got the buckles, I dare you to take off right here, right now! You gonorrhea and scrupulous ridden ladies! Sosuke sure is crude! My question is, does he even know what he's saying? <laughs> Go on. You again. Well, I guess that's as far as your determination goes, so you can't run anymore, huh? In that case, why don't you run back home and go to bed clutching that portrait of Miki Matsura, whoever you love so much. Now, mind you, we're talking about an idol sissies like you fall for. No doubt she's probably a hopeless tramp. Don't, don't you talk smack about my Miki! <laughs> I'll talk as much smack about her as I want. Mickey Matsura is a tramp. If you're gonna tell me otherwise, then show me your guts. Do 10 more laps with the log. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Super weak day, give me strength. Well, that got him going again. I guess that guy really loves Mickey Matsura, huh? None of you had any trouble getting here? Mm-mm, but you've been saying some real crude things to your teammates. Oh, it's from this. Mao's pocketbook. How to abuse a training recruit? Right, just leave it to her. But does it have any effect on them? Not to worry. They will build confidence and drive. Their weakness runs deeper than a mere lack of skill. I suppose you're right, but... Pardon me for interrupting, but is anyone hungry right now? Bet they are! We prepared some rice balls for you and all of your teammates. We made tons of them! Bonito, salmon, and pickled plum, too! Hmm. What's the matter? Did you already eat lunch? No. I'm just wondering whether it would be right to give them any food now. Look, we woke up early just to make them, so you better not tell us you don't need them. Good point. You be grateful! Your team manager has brought you some food! It's been 32 hours since your last meal! Those who finish can eat! 32 hours? <laughs> Right now, you guys are less than human. You got that? You're nameless slaves. Once you survive my training, then and only then will you become a weapon. Until that time, you lowly maggots are nothing but a bunch of suckers. I despise and look down upon you. Let's make one thing clear. My job is to find the lip ticks among you and weed them out. I won't have any stinking animals on our team keeping us from victory. There will be no laughing or crying. You are not human beings. You are killing machines. If you couldn't kill, your lives would be worthless. You fucks would be better off in a corner beating your meat. You want to lose on purpose just to stand out? Pretend it hurts to gain some sympathy? You pathetic loser scum. The best part of you ran down the crack of your mama's ass and ended up as a broken stain on the mattress. Quit dragging your feet, you quits. One whimper and I will unscrew your head and spit down your neck. That ball is your only girlfriend. You don't need a Mary Jane rock crotch with a large backside. Think of your ball as a wet and f it as hard as you can. <laughs> You're so pretty, Jennifer. You've got some nice curves, Natalie. I'm gonna make you sparkle. Does that make you happy, Alice? I could die for you, Brittany. Um, they're talking to their balls. You know, I've got a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> Are you sure they didn't run out on us? I don't really think so, but... Oh! They're here! Hmm? <sighs> Sosuke! Huh? Sorry, we kept you. Uh... Hey, uh, Goda, are you alright? Ma'am, I am perfectly alright, ma'am! Uh, ma'am? How nice of you to come and not run away. You ready for a world of hurt? Today is the end of your club, so all of you should be freed up for a nice long hospital stay. What's wrong? Wussing out before we even start? All right, you bunch of rejects, listen up. We're gonna give you a thorough ass kicking, so make sure you say your prayers. <laughs> 
This just keeps getting weirder. Listen up! As of this moment, you people are no longer lowly maggots! You are Ruggermen! Do you understand? Sir! Yes, yes sir! sir! Now you are about to confront the greatest ordeal! The critical moment where you either win it all or fall to hell! So! Are you having fun? Sir! Yes, yes sir! Now prepare for combat! <gasps> now tell me! What's our specialty, ladies? Kill! 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 And what is our goal in this game? Kill! 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 Do we love our high school? Do we love our high school rugby club? Go ho! Go ho! Go ho! All right, let's go! Go! That's an amazing war cry. Looks like they're showing some promise. This is some kind of weird brainwashing, isn't it? I wonder if Sosuke actually understands the rules. <whistles> I follow. It's a kick, sir! A kick! Roger that! All right, which one of you is next? Step forward. Captain! Ah! The sergeant showed them a thing or two, didn't he? All right, ladies, let's go! You know, in China, there is a certain age-old saying, Sha Yi Jing Bai, which means execute one enemy in order to warn a hundred. It appears that Sagara's actions, though unintentional, had a similar effect. Oh. Ah! Big pigskin, punks! Damn it, he's still alive! Whatever this game is, it's not rugby. And so, the fight to retain the Jindai High School Rugby Club drew to an end. Garasuyama High, a longtime Hanazuno attendee, was unable to recover from the shock of this defeat. From then on, they had a long streak of poor performance. Afterwards, the legend of this match was passed down as the nightmare of Futakota Magawa. In the realm of high school rugby, Jindai High became synonymous with the word fear. But I wonder if things are gonna be better off this way. A week ago, they were saying they didn't want to hurt anyone. Pointless fighting will always be in vain. Through their actions, they taught me this sobering lesson. Ah! Don't you dare go trying to wrap this up nicely! Had enough, you sons of bitches! Stand up! We'll whoop your asses again! Show us what you're made of, you little quitters! You dirty f**ks are even nastier than a whole underwear! You want revenge? Well then get down and suck our raging